Welcome back. We just ran offshore in the 28 Freeman, and we're gonna do a little bit of jigging. It's a last minute trip. You know, yesterday we were talking about going, and we were like, you know what, let's just kind of see what the weather's doing. I said, let's go jigging. So I have not done a lot of slow pitch jigging, but we did catch that scabbard fish, you know, a month or so ago on the slow pitch jig, and that was really cool. On the Nick stick, it turns out I had the jig tied upside down. Someone commented, thank you. It still didn't matter, I still caught fish on it, but they said you want to tie it up here where the eyes are because that affects the action of it when you drop it. They said it's more important heavy current, but I had it this way and it still worked, but I did have it on upside down. But anyhow, we got the two light rods here with light braid. We got 15 pound braid on them. These jigs are 540 grams, so it's around 20 ounces. I'm working on my uh, metric numbers. But we got hooks on the top and the bottom. And the goal of today is just fish for a couple hours. Sadie went to school this morning and uh, we left about eight o'clock from the dock there. See what we can catch. We might go get a queen snapper, might catch a jack, a tuna, maybe a grouper. And only a couple grouper open right now. One being yellow edge grouper, which that'd be hard to catch, but hopefully I want to try one spot on the way home for them. So this is the jig. It's just a piece of metal that's painted from Jig Pro. And we're gonna drop it down here in Jig. We're in about 600 feet of water right now and do some drifts and see what happens. So we're going down. This is not a true slow pitch jigging rod, but it is a mixed stick and we got a limited amount in. I only had 20 conventionals for sale. And I sold it really quick. So whoever got them, hope you guys have some fun with them. We did get a bunch of spinning rods in and they're a little longer than we're supposed to be, but uh, we still sold the majority of them. I think there's a few left on the website. So if you guys want to get a spinner for yourself or for the kids, you know, they're 51 inches. The actual Nick's are supposed to be 45 inches, but we're going down now, 15 pound braid on here, 10 fathom, there's a 25 here. And pretty much we're just gonna hit bottom and lift it up, drop it down, just work that jig. And you know, it has action, we're kind of flutters like that. And we'll uh, see if we can't catch dinner. So there's a number of fish out here to catch that we don't you know, keep on purpose usually. But I think a lot of times we just turn our noses up to fish that we haven't tried. And they're probably better than we realize. So we're definitely gonna keep some fish to eat for dinner. I think lunch really, we wanna catch fish here. Maybe go back to the marina there, the new cafe there, PR cafe at the marina, you know, have them do a shot and see what happens. But all you guys that stopped by the boat show, I appreciate that. And everyone who watched the boat show videos, is cool to see. We got the new X3 up there with the new 350 Yamaha. We got to see Wes's new 32 Shallow Sport X3. We got to check out the brand new 35 foot Freeman. And uh, they had another 28 Freeman on display there. And we have been helping Freeman out with the sales for the 28. So if anyone's, you know, seriously interested in them, shoot us an email or message. You know, we do offer sea trials on them. And I did have a person reach out a few weeks ago and ask about a sea trial. And I said, yeah, we'd be happy to do that. You know, happy to write up an order and tell you all the specs and all the good stuff about them. But he said they're already working with somebody. So, you know, if you're already working with somebody, it's just best to work with them direct on it. But if you're interested in going on the boat and want to see, you know, how we run it and our knowledge about the boat, happy to tell you, because I've had Freeman's now over eight years and fairly knowledgeable about them. So fish a lot on them. So. Happy to do that, but little saying goes, if you ride with us, you buy with us. So can't take you on a free ride if you're already working with somebody, you know, not there already. Working with you and quoted your price, but it's a great boat there and we absolutely love it. And we're offshore today on it now. And with a little bit of luck, we're gonna catch some fish for dinner. But a lot of times with a slow pitch, you wanna lift it up, let it flutter down, lift it up, let it flutter down. But this rod's a little bit shorter than a standard, typical slow pitch rod, but it doesn't mean we're not gonna catch fish and have fun with it. I'd love to get a fish for dinner. Fish are on, first drift. He ate it on the drop. I was dropping it down and just went slack. I was like, dude, I don't think I'm on bottom. I just came up like 30 feet. Now there's no telling what it is. It could be a jack, could be a queen snapper. Queen snapper is what we're really after right here in this spot. I don't know if it is or not. It might be a little jack, but there's a lot of lesser amber jacks around out here. A lot of people think they're banded rudder fish. Ooh, he's taking line. Look at that, dumping it. Runner acting a little more jacky because I've not I really had queens take a lot of line before, but that being said, I don't really catch them on the jigs. I've caught a few on jigs, but usually when we catch them, we're uh, using the electrics deep dropping. So I'm thinking Jack, but you never know. Maybe it's a 20 pound queen snapper and be awesome and make our day. Look at him pulling, Dude, he's pulling good. And the new Nick sticks, the conventionals, they got the acid wrap or spiral wrap guides. So they start at the top and kind of roll around to the bottom of the tip. Like I said, we only had a small batch come in. I've had hundreds of them on order, but we only got 20 in. So we're waiting on the next batch, but still got a few of the spinners left. But it's a lot of fun, you know, something a little bit different, mix it up. Went to that longer bottom grip here, a little bit longer foregrip and got 15 pound braid on here. You know, 15 and 20 apparently is what these guys like to use. We're gonna crank on him now. About 500 feet to go and we'll see what we got. I'm thinking Jack the way he's thumping though. Look at him thumping there. And if you were on the email list, you got first dibs on the rod because we sent out an email blast and 
the convention is sold out, I mean, like that. So jump on the email list, you know, the subscribe button will be there. Just on the website, stansfishing.com. And when we get new releases coming, we'll get that. And we actually have another big sale coming up. We got a lot of our orders for new merchandise, new apparel coming this spring. It got delayed a little bit, unfortunately. So we're not gonna have it till May, but um, we're gonna do a massive spring sale, get rid of some old inventory. And a lot of this hats and shirts are gonna be up to 50% off. Not everything, but a lot of it will be. We just got the new broad mining hats in, microfiber hats there, and we got some Freeman trucker hats in too, some new kids hats, and they're not gonna be on sale, but if you guys wanna get a broad mining hat and join the team, we got them in uh, blue and white and then in solid gray, and super happy with the way they turned out, super comfortable. And an adult sized hat. We're about halfway up on this bad boy and we'll see what we got. Getting some line angle, getting close to the surface. It's gonna pop up in the sun, but we'll see what it is. And there he is, we got color. We got color, here he comes, he's floating up. Let's see what it is. It's gonna be a jack or he's gonna be a queen and make my day. Look at the air blowing out there. Oh my God, we did it you guys. First drop, giant queen snapper. Look at him on the jig, the very first drop. That is awesome. Oh my God, let's see if I can get him without falling in. On the jig, the very first drop. Oof. Tell me that ain't cool there, you guys. On the Nick stick, baby, on the 540 Oof. jig from Jig Pro Fishing. Massive queen snapper to start the day. You guys, we, we weren't even sure we were going fishing today. We got up this morning, we left. I left the house, made the kids a smoothie. They went to school there, but the neighbor got a ride. First drop, massive queen snapper. Sometimes a plane just comes together. We were goggle on last night, you know, picking away at them for the big Jimmy Johnson Sailfish tournament coming up. Didn't get back to like 10.30, which is late for me. We come out here, put hooks on the new jig, and the very first drop. That is what it's all about, you guys. On the, whew, on the Pen Fathom 2 there, on the Nick stick, big old Jig Pro jig, on the 28 Freeman off Alamorada. That's how you start the day, and we, our day's made, so it's all bonus from here. So both the bottom hooks were in them, and you know, this has hooks on the top and the bottom. He is defecating now, which is making a little bit of mess, but we're gonna put him in here, we're gonna bleed him out. Subi Flow put some ice in here earlier for us, so that's good. To bleed him out, all we gotta do is put a little knife to his gills there and go just like that. He will bleedy bleed, but that was the target species and to think that it happened the very first drift is awesome because it doesn't happen very often. But sometimes things go your way and everything works out as a plan. We're gonna go back down there. I'm getting the rod back down. Landon's getting the rod back down so we can't catch one more. Oh, got him off. Are you really? Yep. There you go, nice dog. I like just try to get his head turned. Just got a foot or two off. As soon as he gives you an inch, you get it. It's off. What's that? Came off. Did you lose the jig? I think so. <sighs> Landon snut had a big fish on and it went in the bottom and broke off, probably a big jack or something. I don't think it was a queen. But we lost the jig, and the jigs are not cheap. I think it retails for 30 bucks plus the hooks. So keep that in mind. Let's just play our fishing. We're doing an FG knot here. We wanna get rigged up, because we're just fishing for a little bit, you guys. We're not fishing all day today, just a half day. We got the one big queen. I missed a good bite there. I was jigging it and had another good bite, but he got off, and then Lane hooked that one fish in. They're good fish, he's ripping line, got us in the bottom, so he could have been a big queen snapper, you know, you know, he got a 20 pounder there, but I'm leaning more towards Jack, which you never know. We're putting some leader back on here now, some 40 pound. Got another jig ready. We're going back down here to do a few more drifts and work our way back in shore. There he is, fish on. Some small, maybe a little jack. All over on me, Subi. I would never do such a thing. Can't get rid of me that easy. So that one is much harder to fill the bottom, huh? Oh yeah. I don't even know if I've been on bottom this whole time. I just go till it looks slack and then just start going. Small, I'm thinking lesser amberjack. Starting to turn you with the leg. Look at this. Oh yeah. Double leg in it. Father like son. Hell yeah. Jigging is a lot of work. It is not for the faint of heart. Lots of cranking. 
It's a lot of metal to jig up and down a lot of times. We got collar. Now either it could be a jack or a queen snapper. It's kind of looking jacky. We got color coming up here. I'm guessing a lesser amber jack, but you never know. And my guess is correct. But a lot of times if you catch these, that's where the snappers will be mixed in. And a lot of people mistake these for banded rudderfish, but a banded rudderfish has little white tips on his fin tips, on his dorsal, on his uh, tail there. And you can see his tail does not. So this is actually a lesser amberjack and you can actually eat these. We are gonna let him go though, because we already have a beautiful queen snapper in the box, but still fun though, something to bite the jig. 540, we gave Landon a 440 gram jig and that 100 grams makes a big difference. So he's got a lot more scope in it, so we're gonna switch him out, but a little uh, juvenile lesser amberjack and he is going back in. The fin tips on a banded rudderfish will be white, where these are not. So common misconception though, because I used to think the same thing. We're gonna let this little guy go. See you later, buddy. Whoops, he's frisky, he's ready to go back down. Down he goes. Bye bye, buddy. Ooh, that's a lot of work. Well, things started off strong with a big queen the first drop. But then after that, I lost a fish or two. Landon lost two in the bottom. Could be bigger fish, maybe like big jacks or something. But we're gonna hit one more spot on the way home. We did get that other little lesser amberjack, but uh, I have what I believe they call a teardrop. It's very weird looking, but 700 grams, but it says groupers like it. You run your line through here, and this is what you tie to the back here, and it flutters along. So we're just gonna hit one more spot, maybe for half an hour, maybe do a couple drifts on it, and then we wanna be in by lunchtime. So we're tying this back on, and uh, we're gonna run and shore a little bit, just hit some different spots, and. See if we can't catch a grouper, and if not, we still got a great queen snapper for lunch. And uh, we may pull stone crab traps this afternoon. We'll keep you posted on that. So we just ran down to the west here, just a little above Marathon. You can see this is the Garmin Shader Relief, and we're in 575 feet now. It's 600 feet on this ledge here but there's a nice ledge right here. There's another ledge right here. And there's so much bottom up here off the Florida Keys that you just have to try it, you know, and you know, it's just trial and error. So you just keep fishing it and trying it. We're gonna see what our current's doing now, our drift. Our drift speed's a bit slower here. We're out in the Gulf Stream out there a little bit deep earlier, but all these ledges in here, you can see that relief there. And that's where we're gonna hit. And tile fish, the blue line tiles are closed right now, but yellow edge grouper is open. It's a deep water grouper, so it's not the shallow water grouper complex. And uh, we're gonna do a few drifts here. See what happens. We're gonna give Landon the strike here, the 540. And uh, so we got the queen snapper on earlier, as well as that one uh, little jack. And I am trying this teardrop lead. I believe that, I don't know exactly what it's called. I think it's called the teardrop, but you let it down there, it's gonna bounce bottom and see if an old grouper won't eat it or not. And we're just gonna give it half an hour. We got it. we wanna get in for lunchtime. So it's going down, stay tuned. Bombs away. So there's all sorts of jigs and different sizes and shapes. This one's called a semi, 430 grams, so a little bit lighter than that 540 we were using earlier. And I have learned that a pair of pliers that can open up the split rings will make your life much easier. Usually we don't have anything on the boat, we gotta use a knife or hook. Make do, but we're gonna put this, on. I have an actual slow pitch jigging rod from Penn. I haven't really used much, but we're gonna put this on there now. There's not much current in here, you know, I wish we had a east or northeast drift, but there's like no current, just a wind drift, so. Conditions are different in here, you know, compared to that way, 10, 15 miles. But uh, we're gonna put that on there and see what happens. We're just gonna fish a little bit longer, maybe 15 more minutes, then we're gonna head back towards Almorada, but we're not giving up yet. We wanna drop down the teardrop thing. We're gonna leave that in the hole. It's just gonna bounce in bottom. Then these ones will work actively and jig them up and down and see what happens. The left-handed reel comes in use for something. And this low pitch jigging rod with the cushion that slides here, goes under the armpit nicely, and the bottom grip is longer. So I may not be able to use these rods for much other, much of anything else, but since your stronger arm does most of the lifting with a heavy jig, it does make sense now. It was not a waste. We will catch something on them eventually. We're going to try one last spot. I wanted to go home, but Landon said, Nick, one more spot. I was like, dude, come on, it's lunchtime. He's like, Nick, you always do that one more spot. Oh, you're already right. taking after me now with the one try one more spot we're gonna drop down here there's a little wreck here and uh, a little bit shallower 
so in the 300 foot range. But we're gonna drop them down and see what we catch. I've caught tunas here before. I've caught a big snowy grouper here once years ago, but they're closed right now. But I've only ever caught one here, that was 10 years ago, so doubt that. But we catch a lot of jacks here. I've caught some tunas here too, so we're gonna drop down and uh, see what happens. <laughs> How's it feel? <laughs> Big, hopefully. Or I'm just pathetic. It's a good workout, right? Oh yeah. I ain't going to the gym later. Subi flow is tight. I'm always tight. On the next stick. stick. What do you think it is? Amoco jack or amber jack? Something. I don't know. Will it be, will it be your first fish ever on a slow pitch jig if you get them? Yeah. Actually. Right, don't, don't lose them now. On the next stick too. Uh, oh. Oh my God, I jinxed you. Yeah, you shouldn't, why'd you say something? I don't know, I can't believe it. I can't believe you just said something. Wanna do one more drift? Yeah. Okay, wind up. Oh, you did that. I didn't mean to jinx him. You did that. I can't believe you, I just told you this story about yesterday too. I know, but I didn't jinx you yesterday, but you thought I was going to. So, the hooks came off the bottom of the jig. A shark may have ate them, unless they gave way, but. We had a tackle failure there. Unless it was a shark, it could have been. Shark might eat him off the jig there. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh, oh dumping it. Dumped. <laughs> ah, 15 pound braid and oh. big giant amberjacks is not good. That is so I'm done losing tackle today. I'm we need not. we need the old 80 pound braid on here and lock it up. We'll come back out with a heavy tackle and jig them up. Broke me off with a knot. I don't know, that, shark oh, broke or just oh, the 40 slip, pound? Nah, no slippy here. No slippy lippy? I broke the 40 pound leader. Huh, I don't know. Not sure. Subi, if you want one more, wind it up. Let me get back in the front side of the rack. The dad will always come in clutch. I will not fail again. I won't do it. So we're marking them now like 200, 250, so keep coming up. Oh, there you go, yep. there you go, tightness. There it is. Tightness is it's upon us. us. Oh up. yeah. Unless it's a tuna. What's it feel like, a tuna or a jack? Tuna kind of. Catch a nice black would be nice. Oh. It kind of has like a tuna tail beat, it looks like, honestly. Might be a 20 pound black fin. I was up pretty high, too. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. You're cursed. Drop back down, you probably got one hook left. I wonder if the hook came off again. How could that happen? Sometimes you gotta know when to hold them, sometimes you gotta know when to fold them. Oh, he's tight again. <laughs> you didn't even get to fold them. There you go. You're getting them now, dog. Getting You're getting them. getting them now. Kid is getting absolutely worked today. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting destroyed. Hammer jack? Yeah. Yep. Some sort of jack. You caught one, Subi. You caught a fish. That's a first. I'm a. How do you feel? You worn out? I'm defeated, yeah, that's a... Yeah, but at least we ended on a good note. Yeah, hey, at least you didn't jinx me this time. Yeah. yeah. We worked hard for that guy. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Oof. All right, Old let's go. AJ. Let's go eat. Okay. I think it'll hold, yeah. 20 pounder, huh? Landon caught his amberjack. We lost a couple of the hook break on one, but Got a nice release there, probably an 18 to 20 pounder. Fun fight though on the light tackle. And we're gonna run back to Bud and Mary's now. And fingers crossed they can cook up the queen snapper for us for lunch. And uh, there'll be plenty of it there for all of us. So might share some of the girls in the shop and uh, see what they think, cause queen snapper is a delicacy and people love it. And we'll see you back in there. We got a little ride to go.
cook it here at PR Cafe at Bud Mary's. Eric, the main chef, is not there, but beautiful queen snapper. And uh, there may be a little bit of a language barrier. My Spanish is not great, and their English isn't great, but we'll get it done. But that's the fish we wanted. We got on the first drop. Let's go fly them up. Queen snappers have big old scales, so they do dull your knife a little bit, but beautiful white meat on them and a deep water delicacy. Just like anything, take your time there. And they do have, uh, their fins are very sharp and their spines are pretty big, so it's been a while since I had a queen snapper, a few months, so. We've got a few in general, but small ones, not big ones like this. This is a really good size one, trophy queen. Just working the knife right down his backbone there. That's the only thing about fish, you just gotta get over the backbone and then it's uh... Yeah, it has been a very windy uh, winter. The pelicans are ferocious, but we're gonna try to feed the fish with that. I don't know if they got or not. We're gonna take one whole side right now up here to get it cooked at the Cafe of Bud Mary's. And this cafe opens up in the morning. They make breakfast and lunch for all the guys going fishing on the boats and girls. And then you can stop in here and eat lunch too. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be on a sandwich. Okay. So we're inside a PR cafe in the kitchen and I've not had their french fries yet. The guys out there got them, they look really good. So we're gonna add french fries to the fish. I'm gonna do one of their specialty sandwiches, Parmesan encrusted. Instead of yellowtail, we're gonna do the queen snapper we caught. Diego's gonna cook it up. And uh, then we're gonna do little fish nuggies for Landon and the rest of the people here at Bud and Mary's. So fresh fish coming up right now. Thank you so much for cooking it. I'm very excited to try it. Um, is this a different batter on this fish? Yeah, it's different. Is that Parmesan crust or not? This is Parmesan crust, but this is fried with a special chipotle. The house of sun. The special stuff on it, I like yeah. it. We're gonna see how it turns out. Danny? Yeah, thank you for testing Fresh off the boat, green snapper. And this is PR Cafe, so it's Puerto Rican Cafe, actually. And uh, a little salute there. I can't wait to try the french fries. And, and that is a healthy fish sandwich. Check that out. And we got a bunch of fish nuggies, Parmesan encrusted. This one's a special seasoning on it. Yeah. And the special one, he didn't give me the recipe, but let's go uh, share with everybody and see what everybody thinks. I can do that without spilling. We got everybody's opinion. See what they think. You know, Whoa! In a group kind we brought you guys a couple right? lights oh to try. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh, dude. Chrissy's over there. AKA the Pelican. Oh, you're gonna be on TV. Why Chrissy. didn't you tell us in advance? We gotta do our hair and stuff. Or <laughs> Landon liked the name the Pelican, and that's because she eats all the fish that you give her. So I we got some fish to try in here. I'm the human Pelican. Parmesan encrusted fish sandwich from PR Cafe. Here we go. Don't get no fresher than that. That's good. Now we gotta get your guys' opinion too on all the nuggies. Oh, it's so tender, it um, good, juicy. Mm. Hang on, uh, you've probably it? never had a queen snapper Mouth before, right? Mouth-watering. Mm. It's my first time, it's really good. You approve? Holy. Chrissy, Chrissy will eat anything though, right? I don't eat anything, no. Really? I'm, very, I'm a food snob, I'm sorry. Okay, well what do you think of queen snapper? Because I don't know if you've had it before or not. I've never had this before, it's so juicy. Very good. It's good. What great seasoning. Mm. <laughs> if we eat it all before Laney gets over here, she's gonna be upset. I don't think I could. <laughs> no way. Lenny's doing a booking right now. Yeah. Mm. So if you call here, you get one of these Lainey? nice people behind the counter. They book your hotel rooms, your fishing trips, your fishing yeah, charters, right, right, right. and all that good stuff. I'm not allowed to work behind the counter. I have a bad review online. Everybody behind the counter in there approved of the fish nuggies. The fish sandwich is delicious. The french fries are awesome. And I love a good french fry. This is the seating area here at PR Cafe at Bud Mary. So they open up before 6 a.m. If you want to get breakfast or lunch. They make a box lunch to go, or you can come here and sit and eat. And they usually have some specials like fish. There was yellowtail, but I substituted my queen summer for the yellowtail today. We're gonna finish this up, and then uh, we'll show you a little bit more stuff, and we'll wrap this video up. So, just to give you all an idea how much fuel we burnt, we burnt 28.1 gallons, we went 52 miles, and the miles per gallon turns out to be 1.85, so just a little shy of under two miles per gallon. And running, we were actually getting better than two, but when you're drifting for a few hours, you know you're burning a couple gallons an hour just drifting. So keep that in mind. Um, 
I think we lost four or five jigs, so we jig pro hooked us up with those though. So I didn't pay for them, but if you had to pay for them, it would have been like 120 bucks in jigs at least. So they're expensive, but have a few extras out there if you go fishing for them. It's a blast, you know, jigging up with the braid line, getting that bite, you know, you really feel them hit it. And the queen snapper was a nice treat there. They knocked it out of the park at lunch there. Everybody liked it, and uh, the fish nuggies are all gone. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. All of our companies that we're working with now, we got all their links in the video description. So if you wanna save a few bucks, we got a lot of products on there that got some discount codes, so go check them out. And coming out here to Bud and Mary's Marina, and I'm Rod, and hope to see you down here fishing one day.